Cook along with us on the Clover Olive Pride Chefs Tour, a proudly South African cooking journey through the towns and dishes that made foodie heroes, such as the champion of traditional African cuisine, Luyanda Mafanya, master of fine dining, Chef Ruben Riffle, and proud flag bearer of National Bride Day, Jan Bry. Made with Olive Pride, prepare to be proud. This week on the Olive Pride Chef's Tour, we visit the town many call our food and wine capital. We're cooking with a man who helped shape this culinary hotspot, Franchuk born and bred Chef Ruben Riffle. I recently got the opportunity to revisit my childhood home, which is just around the corner. And I got reminded of one of my mom's favorite dishes. She used to love seafood curries. I decided to make something similar but with a little bit more of a modern twist. So I'm making a roasted hake in calamari with arissa, honey and lemon cream, couscous, baby marrow and sweet corn. And then we're finishing it off with a tomato and mint salsa. First step is to make the arissa honey cream. Arissa is a North African spice paste and the ingredients in there is peppers, uh, chili, uh, cumin, onion and garlic and it's just blended together by the use of olive oil. To that I'm going to add the cream and the honey. So the honey I add for a tiny bit of sweetness but I don't want the sauce to be too sweet. Now just let that cook down till it gets a nice thick sauce consistency and then towards the end I'm just going to add a little bit of lemon juice just to brighten it up. So I add it towards the end just to give that nice fresh flavor and what lemon juice does it brings out all those beautiful flavors and what we're trying to create is a bit of a sweet and sour as well. Okay, now that's ready, I'm gonna put it to one side and we're gonna start on the couscous. I love using couscous, really, because it's so easy and quick to make. I love the flavor of it and it's a great vehicle to carry different types of flavors as well. You can use stock, in this case, I want a cleaner flavor, so I'm just using water. Okay, I like to add olive oil to my couscous because I think it really just um, even brings out that flavor of the couscous well. It's two natural products, so it really works well together. And then just salt and pepper. And then the last step, I'm just gonna cover it. So the steam will cook the couscous nice and gently and then later on we'll just use a fork to fluff it nicely. Okay, while that steams I'll quickly toast the coconut. So I'm dry roasting it or toasting it in a dry pan basically. It just allows that natural oil to come out of this desiccated coconut and gives it that nice kind of toasty flavor that will work really well in our couscous. Yeah. Love the smell of toasted coconut. Right, now I'm going to add the coconut and the cinnamon to my couscous. So that goes straight in there. The nuttiness of the coconut and the earthiness of the cinnamon is going to pair so nicely with that harissa cream. Then just fluff it all together with a fork. It's as simple as that. So for myself, I'm using rosa tomatoes, jalapeno chili, garlic, coriander, and fresh mint from my garden. This tomato and mint salsa is a great way of bringing freshness to this dish, and it's very simple to make. Simply chop up all these ingredients, add them all together, add a bit of olive oil and salt, as easy as that. I love the smell of mint, and the, the nice thing, it's so easy to grow it in your own garden. And mint, obviously, you can use in so many different dishes as well. So I'm removing the seeds out of this jalapeno because I don't want it to be too hot. But when I grew up, my mom just left it in there. I think we got used to that spiciness. I like to get the garlic as fine as possible because the last thing you want in a salsa is to bite into a big piece of garlic. Mm -hmm. 
and then finish it off with olive pride extra virgin olive oil. I love this olive oil because it's got really nice buttery and nutty notes and also the texture is quite smooth. The other great thing is that it's high in antioxidants, so quite healthy as well. And just a little bit of lemon juice to finish it off. And now for the gyro. I'm using haik and calamari and I'm frying it in the olive pride blend. And I'm using this oil because it's quite versatile and the great thing about it is that it retains that beautiful olive oil flavor even at a high cooking point. So it's great for frying and baking. So growing up, we actually ate quite a lot of seafood, but when it came to fish, it was mostly snook. I'm using hake though, because it's quite easy to fill it. It's less bony, I've got kids, uh, and they really prefer hake. And at the end, just quickly flash fry this calamari. Ah, calamari is looking awesome. I think it's time for us to do all of this together. Time for a quick taste. Beautiful. I like to garnish the plate with a little bit of extra mint and I'm serving the couscous and the salsa on the side. So there we have it. Inspired by my childhood, this is roasted hake calamari Arissa honey cream with a little bit of lemon, some sweet corn and baby marrow. And on the side, we have a mint and tomato salsa and couscous flavored with coconut and cinnamon. I hope you enjoy making this at home with Olive Pride. Prepare to be proud. Join us again next week as we go west with Jan Bry, discovering Saldana's treasured Atlantic mussels and fresh linefish. Cook along with Jan as the Olive Pride Chef's Tour continues to thrill our taste buds and inspire new dishes.